So welcome to our 18th Visual Basic tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to build a web browser inside of Visual Basic and this web browser is basically going to have the main web browser window so that, that bit will show the actual website then we're going to have a back button, a forward button, a refresh button, um, a web address bar and a search bar which will search Google so first what we want to do is just resize this form, make it bigger, change the text of the form to my web browser or whatever you want to call it. And then we need to put a few buttons. So put one button and change the text to, um, click on the button, change the text. And I think this is the less than sign, it's just the one that points to the left put that there and resize that however you like so that's going to be the back button and then I think this is the greater than sign the one that points to the right for the forward button and then paste one more and this is supposed to be the refresh button but since there's no kind of key on the keyboard um, that looks like a refresh icon I'm just going to put letter R you could alternative create an icon using Photoshop or paint or whatever you want but I'm just going to be using the letter R and put that next to there and then what we want is a text box and this is going to be for the web address and since this text box isn't really lining up the buttons we need to make it kind of taller so select it and to do that we can just change the font size so I'm going to try 15 Yep, 15 looks perfect. And paste another button. And this is going to say go. Kind of like Internet Explorer 6 days. So there's the web address bar. I'm just going to copy and paste this again. Change that button to search. And again, that's going to search for Google. And just line that up however you like. So that's like, oops, that's like my kind of toolbar, like top bar kind of thing. Now we need the actual main uh, website, the place where the website will go. So right at the bottom here we've got web browser and this is actually based off of Internet Explorer so it will display pages in the same way as Internet Explorer does but for now that would just be fine. Just resize that so it fits the whole thing just like that. And then if I run this it won't actually work or anything but I'll just run it to show you the layout. So it all looks good now but when I maximize this you see it's all still in this top corner we need this uh, web browser window to stretch all the way across and down and then we need this uh, website address bar to stretch all the way across so close that select the actual web browser one and find the anchor property and this is like uh, you need to keep the distance between the left, the right, the top, the bottom so we can select which size to do it and since I want, to, want this to stretch in all directions I'm going to select top, bottom, left and right so if I run this now and I maximize it you see it's stretched across so now we need to do this web address bar and this search bar and all these buttons are going to stay the same size so we want them to stretch all the way across to the right here so what you want to do is select these three controls so the uh, website address the go button uh, the search bar and the button for that and change anchor so deselect the left one and put it to the right so if we run this now and press maximize you see that's gone over to there so now all we need to do is stretch that across so close this click on the uh, text box and change the anchor 
to top left and right to stretch all the way across so now if we maximize this it's looking like a normal internet browser so now we need to actually code all of this because at the moment if I press all these buttons or I type in google.com or something like that it doesn't work so what we need to do here is we need to put the code to it and make it all work so we're going to start with the back button, the forward button and the refresh button so click on the back button and here we're just going to put web browser one dot go back simple as that so forward web browser one dot go forward and I could spell that completely wrong and then for the refresh button web browser one dot refresh so like that spelt that wrong a bit again like that and that's all those working uh, those pro uh, coded now we can't test those because we need to set it up so that we can access a page from here so double click on the go button and here we're going to do web browser one dot navigate so that's fairly obvious what it's going to do for the brackets and then in here we could put a string inside of quotes so we could put like google.com and when you press that button it will go to google.com but we want it to go to whatever site is inside of that text box so we're just going to put text box one dot text so that's fairly obvious what that code does so close that run this and I'm just going to put youtube dot com go and let this run and it's kind of slow and there you go there's your web browser all we need all that's left to do now is this search bar so just uh, double click on the search bar this code is going to be very similar to what we did up here with the web browser one dot navigate so I'm just going to copy all of this and paste there and just delete this text box one dot text and put a speech marks and the way Google used to do it is it would be google.com forward slash search question mark Q equals and then whatever you're searching for so if you're searching for YouTube then it will be google.com forward slash search question mark Q equals YouTube so what we're going to do here is we're just going to do www.google.com forward slash search question mark Q equals and then just leave that like that outside the question marks we're going to put this and sign so shift and seven for that one and then text box two dot text so it's going to do this and this so now if we run this and we type in here what we need tutorials search and you see it's come up with google search what we need tutorials I didn't mean vanitorials I meant what we need tutorials and it's showing some of my videos and things but that's how to build a web browser uh, one last thing if you want to set the home page you can just click on this web browser and set the URL so www.youtube.com forward slash Waffney tutorial have I spelt that right yep so run this and it should come straight to my channel so there you go there's the home page so that's how to create a web browser inside of visual basic 
Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe if you found this useful and I'll see you in the next tutorial.